And so if we're doing a removal heavy matchup, we can keep removing each other's stuff, and then eventually I can play. Ozzy, you're a little early, buddy. And then I go to Flip Lamp when I need the points. Also really good in Nilfgaard for Flip Lamp play Emissary as a proactive play. So a lot of good things. Also, on top of everything I just listed, tall units are inherently risky. If I play Crystal Skull on something, Vincent Van Morlehem, for example, kills it. You can heat wave it. You can spores it. It strategic advantage or um, stratagems. Why do I say strategic advantage? I feel like that's what they used to be called, but stratagems that go tall have a higher risk than just a five point unit. That is a huge mistake, but okay. You smell rife with fear. That was that's just bad. Don't ever do what you just saw there. Um, I'm gonna open Avalok then. We'll do Frost here. Manoc kills. I think Frost is fine. Because I only have one bomb right now. Alright, now you're seven. This matchup should be pretty good for us. If I follow and follow again, does the metric still appear? Uh, Eag, uh, Eagoria uh, Rio 2. I don't think so, but if I have not, I don't recall if I welcomed you, my friend. Did you follow offline? Because if you have not been welcomed, just let me know and I'll welcome you. No big deal. Happy to give you the hookup if you need it. Is that what happened? Maddox on the right road. I've been really lucky with Maddox to that. Yeah, I fought offline. Well, then, yeah, uh, Ia Gori, uh, Gorio too, my friend. Thank you for letting me know I haven't welcomed you because you followed offline. Welcome to the Flame Dog family. I'm so glad you joined us here today as we hang out at a water park. Welcome aboard. If you like what you see, check out all the other socials. There's just more of me. But given that you followed offline, it sounds like you know about the other socials. You're already, you're already in the know, and I respect that. How could I not, after all? And I welcome the family, my friend. Glad you're here. Oh, so good. And I messed that up, by the way. If I just hit here, I would, I think, cleared the whole row. I wasn't thinking. That's all right. Working up early. Let's see. My name is Spanish Origin. It's Pretendo speaking Spanish. Get more out of me. Iogorio. Iogorio, too? I have no idea. Let's see. Because I adore your YouTube. Best laughs I have. I'm glad you're enjoying the YouTube. I've actually... It's kind of crazy. Yesterday was wild. YouTube, YouTube is, I think, the biggest miss that a lot of Gwent streamers have. Like, it's a huge problem for them. More people need to be on YouTube. Fear needs to, like, if I could tell all the Gwent streamers to do something, just get on YouTube. Yesterday, for example, on the stream, I had 21 follows, and then offline, I had 10. That's insane. Uh, by the way, speaking of insane, uh, this round's going very good for us. Or very well for us. Um, how do I want to play this round? We can play it two ways. This is, so if you look here, first, they play it out of position. That's disgusting. Uh, I'm just going to go uh, Forktail. Forktail is really good here. We just need to keep this under 25, or uh, under 15, because now you can't shoot your nose. Perfect. Oh, Kelly. Yeah. So you can go Kelly Eager and this will be eaten, but it doesn't matter. We'll have enough points. Just Kelly, Kelly for the win. Yeah, I really like this. It's a very different way to play Kelly, and it's super mean. Uh, so I'm Eager. I think you do want to bleed. They're running Shiyu Nose. We'll see. But our short round should be pretty good. They didn't really get... Oh, they got the Kikamore. They have the Gonsian. So their setup on Mamuna is pretty correct. Or pretty good. I don't think I'm a Forktail here. It's a fairly competent hand for a bleed. I'm going to run it and see what happens. Start with this. 
Let's see, catch up a chat. I'm cracky 227, welcome to the chat. Seems like, I think it's your first time here, so welcome indeed. Like YouTube, because I don't really have time to watch streams. So right now I'm on breaks from studying, so I watch it. I'm glad. No, and that's what's great about YouTube. And it gets the stream, like, take, you take the best part of your streams, you shove them on the YouTube. They're there permanently for people to enjoy. I love it. I'm a big believer in YouTube. Oh, my king, welcome. I'm doing well today, just very tired. But Tara the Baker is here. Legendary Baker is here. Great. YouTube is great for fast forward slow players. Agreed, Jim Brand. Sometimes when a player's sitting there and they're like spending four hours thinking about the next card, I'm like, why? Why, my friend? Why? This is not a tournament setting to play a card. Why not start with Wild Hunt then? Um, I wanted, I think I mostly wanted this just because I might want the damage. Keep Sabbath off a little bit longer. But maybe, maybe it was supposed to uh, so Wild Hunt thing there. It's a pity I can never finish. Because I normally, I would really want to eat offensively, I confess, eat one of these two. Really tempted to be Gansian. But I think either way, they're going to probably go for the other one. So we'll go back right here. Good Egern. Then I think you just go like this, right? Alright, deny that. You can't have, you need four points to have because it's going to lose three to do it. So we're good. Cracky, why is your portfolio profile Twitch, uh, picture on Twitch just blue? Because I'm a marketing genius. No, here's the idea. Oh, this doesn't work because you play Rakt and you click. Oh, well. Really? You're going for the heat wave here? Okay. I mean, our pressure is really good. I can always get out of this round of Ditloff. But I really want to force something nasty out of them if I can. Go ahead and just thin our deck. Basically, the idea was... I remember when I started streaming, I looked at everybody's logo and said, wow, everybody now knows Fiverr as a website. Everyone figured it out. Which is kind of a problem for me. Like a, a noticeably big problem. Good, Maddox. And so everyone's logo looks great. So I said, okay, if everybody's logo is looking great, Having a great logo is a terrible idea because the point of a logo is to build a brand reputation, but also just have people get invested not to lose your head. <laughs> uh, in what you do. Trying to deny Sabbath here. Just keep bleeding their hand. And the right row, are you cheating? I know, Jax, I never had this much luck. But if everyone's logo looks good, the whole point is either to get someone to click or build a brand. You don't need a good logo to build a brand. You can have a crappy logo and have people associated with you. Dream is a great example of that. The Minecraft uh, YouTuber streamer. But when I looked at Gwen, I said everyone has really nice logos. I should just pick the worst one I can create mentally and see if I run with that. The worst one I could think of was blue. And so I became a blue logo. That's it. That's right. That's all I did. Yeah, Patera, Patera is a legendary. I think you're a legendary baker in my book, bud. Genius? It worked out really well. You are going to click leader. I wonder if you're going to do that. I mean, I don't see a reason not to pass here. Basically, I'll trade, I'll trade Detloff for 17. For no Koshi run final round? Yeah, I like the odds. Take my cracky, take my money. Exactly. And so what happened is a bunch of people. I think Android subculture is one who of note in my mind fell for it. Where you start they started to, you know, you sit there and you're like, huh. You know, you're sitting there and you're just trying to figure out what, you know, what is this person doing? And you get stuck with it. Uh, and cracky227, welcome to the Plain Talk fam. I'm glad you joined us here today as we learn how to throw cards. Welcome aboard. If you like what you see, check out the socials. Welcome to the flam. Welcome to the family. Glad you're here. Let's give you a little bolt. What are we cooking to actually? Correct, might have been natural selection. What are we cooking today? Vortex. We're, we're just playing some really mean monster stuff. We're being we're being villains right now. We're playing a control monster deck list with Madoc and Kelly and Detloff. Yeah, because they don't have much stuff going on. This, I mean, this is obviously, like, if you're running, they're not going to get Sabbath. We're going to Forktail for at least six. And we're peeping everyone out. Vortex, been a while. Good to see in the chat. Welcome back. Right, like, they're... Sure. Forktail. They have two cards, but two cards probably isn't enough. There's no way they're running Ozzy. 
Detloff is an absurd amount of points in about two seconds. Natural selection. I bet this might... My guess is this is Locker Heat Wave. Uh, but this is just devastating. We're just going to smoke this player. I've had this idea for ages. Go. This. Yep, there it is. GG. Boom. Taking that one of the best meta decks. Good game. <laughs> uh, these days, Maddox is popular. I'm going to space out like this to avoid making a bomb. Even Freddy Braves is streaming for Storybook Ball. Yeah, Storybook Ball seems really fun. Really fun. Maybe I'll stream it next week. Could be a good time. Salutations and hello vacations. Hello indeed. Hello indeed. Come to me. Ah, uh, how are you doing, Kasari? How are you? I'm well. I'm doing well. I'm tired today, but well. I might need a third cup of coffee. Yeah. The elders must put a stop to this rebellion, else they will face devastation. Like, look how good this is going. We have our Neomancy in hand. Much more confident. Feels good. Sure. All right, Egern uh, six. Claim here. Egern six is really good. Nature's rebuke is very not present. Saving nature. We're lucky I'm not packing predatory. And our Neuromancy. They're done with the rounds. Like, you only should be nature there if you're already given up on the rounds. So we'll just get the squirrel, get the carryover on there. Go. They can play a card and then I just pass if they actually do. We're up by 20 points. Just getting the squirrel for the carryover. I know you're done. We're done. Let us begin round two or three. Go on a long round against them or a short round is a real question. No way. That is so greedy. Round's yours. You got me. I'm looking forward to seeing how you're coming out of here. That's right. You're not. Arrogant. 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 I don't... Sorry, friend. I think one of my weaknesses as a, as a Gwent player is the fact that I don't really care that much about winning at round one. And I often lose last day because of it. That's one of my weaknesses. Um, just, let's just start Azrael, back row, Egern. Go. If they have Serpent, I'll laugh. I think, I think you do bleed here, though. Because if they're on set, everyone even. A short round for us is very good. I mean, as long as we have last save Kasari, like these two cards can carry me a few around, even through Gord. Sure, great choice. 10 out of 10. Try again. The soil is fertile. Fertile with magic. And hmm. SD for the win, please. Sorry, Miss J. We're going to slaughter SD. Circle's fine. So, this is where we have to renew a for something more passive. I don't know what I want here. Give me a maxi here. Maxi's not a bad search. I'm actually just going to grab Phantom here. Phantom hits a really important number of six. Six is great because you can't Nature's Rebuke yet. Good Simless. Nature's Rebuke, Nature's Rebuke, or go something crazy there, but we'll just keep on bleeding him out. Yes. That would fit perfectly. Okay, Avalok Fog on back row is really strong here. It is unlikely they're going to find a way to chain three spells. Fog is really good because if they play like a four-point card like Sorceress, we're still going to get to kill Scribe. Thunder, though, pretty much guarantees it's going to die in a second. Cool. So this is called bullying. Now, at one point... Ifling. Okay. I mean, Forktail doesn't really help too, too much here. Let's pass. 
And, uh, yeah. Oh, celebrate. Welcome back, my friend. And slaughter them? Slaughter them we will. Slaughter them we will. Poor Scroyatel player has to commit a lot here. But I have no <laughs> idea what chain they have to go for. There's no way Dryads is enough. Orb's not going to re-trigger. Yeah, there's no way that was enough. You're minus two. GG. Forfeit already. That's it. That's it. Two really bad plays. Armamar is fine, too. Whatever. Dynasty Reigns, welcome back, my friend. Let's see. This Jay, I've been... Uh, this is one of my decorations and new cards. Go back to my elves. Drink from my older decks. Nice. Good luck, Miss Jay. Good luck. And then the problem with that play is, yeah, you trigger your orbs in the grave, or at least one of the orbs in the grave. So, I mean, I guess you get another one off Elven Seer, but you're on minus two, and we get to just we have our debt loss Heatwave Finisher. Give me Kelly, and I'll just win the entire game off of Kelly. Hmm. But then he's are Zarya. A quick shout out to the legendary Lurkus chilling on the chat. Love all of you. Yo, Kelly, please. Darn it. Okay. It's a plus two card advantage and leader ability on a four card person. We're going to play fully unitless. And then we're going to slaughter them at the end. Amazine and Elven Seer. Yes, 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 Chris. Sorry, that's how it works. 100% right. Bolt here is really strong because it sets up a Dancing Star. So when they mess up their placement by putting a unit here, we can just Dancing Star here. Okay. Same philosophy here. Set up the three. Now they're really likely to mess up the placement because they don't want to play on front rear because there's only one point here. So if I have another bomb, I'm going to be able to click Maddox and go. So they're going to play back row and they're going to completely mess up. I'm going to put it right here. I don't think they're going to play smart. You want to play it here to avoid dancing, but they're going to play it right here if they have a unit. Monster deck been going? Honestly, I'm having a good time. See? Not ignorant. Remember to whom you speak. Double Nature's Rebuke. This is going to be beautiful. Alright. Okay. They're going to buff this one here. Just trying to buff the lowest ones, but... We get an amazing Dancing Star now. Board comes out, Forktail, click, probably win the game. I mean, we win the game no matter what, but we're so far ahead right now. Board on 19 is not anywhere close to enough. You do click Maddox here. You want to get the extra point off Forktail by doing it, or you can play Forktail first. The order doesn't really matter. We can pass. We have another, what? Uh, you know, 16 points here if we need it, but we're good. GG. Nobody, nobody likes Syndicate. Syndicate's so hated as a faction right now that I'm, I'm really struggling to produce interesting content with it. Because if I make a good Syndicate deck, everyone, everyone just writes it off saying Syndicate, right? Like it, it just is really hard for me. It's hard for me to sit there and be like, yeah, let's um, let's let's make a Syndicate deck because of that. Right, obviously don't need you don't need you is it gonna be griffin are we gonna start off the first game of the day of griffin yeah so i I've, I've actually had to actively avoid making syndicate content because it's such a hated faction and it kind of breaks my soul Which is so funny. Got me? Thank you, Awesome Dana. So I put no effort into thinking of Syndicate content because everyone hates it. Hmm. Nice, Maddock. Good Maddock. Let's see. Yeah, I was thinking a lot about it. They made a faction so hated that it like doesn't matter. And it actually actively annoys me that they made a faction like that.
Like, I just can't do anything with the content. And I really need them to fix Syndicate. I don't like... Oh, that's a good... That's a good sign for us. Wow, Maddox Monsters taking round one against them. They've committed nothing. We committed nothing, but we just won on even. We can actually just play. We can play an obnoxious round, too. How do you want to do this one, John? Can you put natural... Okay. Front row in case they run siege. I don't know if he, oh, I do if you win this deck. I was about to say I don't have it, but good. You play the Viper deck with Iteran. It was sick. Yeah, the Iteran deck is awesome. I made one with. Uh, and who you address, and how you address them. Hmm. All right. Nah, I'm sorry, bud. I love you. From the bottom of my heart, I do. But unfortunately, I think I'm like your worst matchup. GG. Sorry, Marge Griffin friend. I love you. And goodbye. Shout out to Ahmed Ali and McRandar for all their generous support on Patreon.